This is the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. Three, two, one, and here we are for episode, what would this be? Episode 99. Episode 99 of the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen, and today I have, well, she thinks she's a special guest. I call her just a guest. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You guys know that voice in the background there. That's Snoopy. Hey, Snoop. Hello, and Merry Christmas. You're a little late. No, it's still Christmas. Christmas, Christmas lasts till Easter. Yeah, you guys really stretch that out over here in Norway. No, we don't. It lasts till Easter, and then uh, See? <laughs> Easter lasts till Christmas, and it's a whole year of a party party. Bring that mic a little closer. Closer it is. How's that? You hear me so, now? Yeah, I hear you much better. All right. So Snoop is sitting here. She's go, yeah, yeah, she has the glug. <laughs> here it is. Glug. Isn't that supposed uh, to have alcohol? You guys have heard of glug, right? They've yeah. made fun of it on The Simpsons. and Yeah. So she's mm. drinking authentic Norwegian glug. Well, no, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. Yeah, isn't one. it supposed to, though? Isn't that the original? Well, you can choose. Uh, you can have, um, like, hard liquor in there. Um <laughs> Oxen. Or wine. I made this. Oh, sure. You know what, though? I made if you're from Hux, If you're from Hoxun, you got the hard liquor. Or Trondheim. If you're from Oslo, <laughs> West oh. Side. If you're from Oslo, West Side, you put in wine. Red wine. But if you are from Trøndelag, um, middle of Norway there, or halfway that's the Kentucky. Up. That's the Kentucky of... Uh, <laughs> moonshine. That's the Kentucky of Norway. That's, that's where you put moonshine in there. Yeah, anyway. Um... What is it though? What is that stuff made out of? It has some spices in there. It's 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 a juice. Um sulbar, I don't know what that's called, black some blackberry thing. Um and uh and spices. And I mix it with water, but What kind of spices though? I don't know. Good spices. <sighs> <laughs> you're not the you are not the ultimate Norwegian that you portray yourself to be. You're supposed to know these things. Oh yeah, that's right. Maybe we should <laughs> Well you could see so you missed an opportunity. You just could have made up yeah, it's got a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and that and then you could have people would be like, Wow, that's so cool. Listen to this Norwegian woman talk. That's but no, true. you blew your chance. I you said you don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I just buy it in a bottle. Yeah. yeah, this is bottled. This is yeah. not homemade uh-uh. at all. No, but there are—I'm sure there are some people, some old timers out there oh, yeah. who know exactly yeah. how to make this. Absolutely, I think you can buy actually the spices, just the spices, the spice mix. You can buy that on in the pharmacy at the pharmacy. So the glug Snoop is mm-hmm. drinking is fake, but the filthy uh, sheepskin from two generations ago that she wants to line <laughs> our bed, the bed in which I sleep. Forget about her. Okay. I sleep in this bed too. She was talking about, you were talking about this sheepskin that your great grandfather had. No, it's, it's Shinfell. It's a, uh, I don't care what several, it is. It's filthy. It's several, <laughs> no, it is several sh- uh, furs, sheep furs. That they have just sheep, yeah. That okay. they have um, sewn together, sewn together, like in a big, big thing, and they use that for their mattress or or sheet uh, instead of a sheet. They use that. It's That's disgusting. You know, no, no, it's not. Wool is self cleansing. Sure, it is. It is. We're not yeah. talking about wool. Wool is what I buy. Wool is what I go to uh, to uh, Dressman XL and buy. Uh, no, 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 listen to me. There's a difference. Wool is what I go to the store and buy. We're talking about a sheepskin. <laughs> which a real, hundred, which a is real a, sheepskin exactly that is laid up in. Where has this thing been? Where's this thing been for the last 80 years? Didn't you say your great grandfather had this or something? My great grandfather and my father, they shared the bed. Gross. And they, and they had that <laughs> as a sheet. <laughs> no, that's how they used to live. Okay, that's how they used to live. They had that your in people, their bed. Your people. The bed we still have your in our cabin, people. John. Your the people. The bed we still have in our cabin that our son is sleeping in. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's different. This is Same an actual bed. sheepskin that generations of your people have laid on, sweat on. They've probably had all kind of Norwegian scabies and uh, measles and died on. And now you want to yank it out of a box, out of a closet, which was in a barn, which was laid on by a bunch of dead people. And you want to put this in our marital bed today. Question is, 
Why? <laughs> it's disgusting. Why? No, not today. Okay, I'll try to, glug. I'll drink clean. your glug, but I will not lay on your hundred-year-old oh sheepskin. Oh my goodness! It's not. Well, no, it's Why? not a hundred. Well, maybe it is. It's, I'm sure it is. You it said your great grandfather. Yeah, it's, it's at least a hundred years old. He actually died on it. That's true. Oh God! Are you see, and you're probably <laughs> people. People. She's probably not joking. You probably did die on. He, it. he actually did die in bed. He died at home in bed, didn't he? Yeah, you? of course he did. Everybody and you want, did. And you want me to sleep on that? It's family, Jeff. It's disgusting, it's is family. what it is. No, 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 no. It will be, of course. Okay, I will everybody, clean it. send me an email: John at John <laughs> Allen Pod. Dot com. Oh my goodness. Send me an email and tell me, is it gross with a hundred year old, let's say 150 year old sheepskin. Uh, I, 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 okay. Let's say hundred, let's say hundred year old sheepskin that her great grandfather died on this thing. Hey, ain't, this thing ain't seen no parts and no cleaners. I guarantee well, you no, this no, thing has not they, been laundered. They clean, I get, no, clean they how? Clean, of course. They took a when tree branch minus, and they swat, swatted it a few times to no, get a little bit of the lice the snow. out. They put it out in the snow and lay there for like three, four, or five days. Two generations of your family. I'm sure that's about, what, 2,000 generations of lice. Come on. That's, the lice you, has died a long time ago. Has the lice died? Of course it has. Of course it has. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, anyway. I want an email from you guys. Is this gross? Should I lay on this sheepskin or not? Send me an email. Well, I tell am. me what you, you think. You want to share bed with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Sharing bed with, oh. with the, the, the fur, the shin fell. Look, I'm doing yeah. everything I can to fit into this society. I've made so many sacrifices for you, for you in your country. I will not sleep on a hundred year old sheepskin. Three generations of your family and 3,000 generations of lice. No, thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Disgusting. It will be cleaned at a dry cleaner. That's because it's all. She it did say, in, in your defense, you did say yeah. that you would take it to a dry cleaner first. Yeah, I did. I don't know I don't think that if it's snoop, not too expensive. Snoop. If it's too expensive, I'll put it on the snow when the, the <sighs> winter comes. I don't think they have the technology to clean that thing I properly. Think they do. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Uh, you want a cookie, just, Snoop? You want a cookie? Yeah, thank what kind? you. What kind do you want? A uh, gaffel cookie. A who? Homemade gaffel cookie. A fork cookie. cookie. Fork cookie. Oops. And why do they call it a fork cookie? Gaffel cookie. Why do they call it that? Because uh, you, you roll it in little little um, lumps. <laughs> and then and then you put a fork and you, you push it down with a little fork. Straightforward. A fork cookie. Goffer, exactly. Goffer mm-hmm. cookie. Very good. Mm, those are my favorite. Easy to make. That's yeah. the only cookie I make. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to turn this franchise around, people. I, uh, and this has nothing to do with a New Year's resolution. I'm just going to get my health back to where it should be. That's it has nothing we... to do with New Year's resolution. We've done our thing now for Christmas. Uh, and actually, I, I did my thing, uh, air quote, did my thing here during Christmas with moderation. I didn't go crazy like I usually do every Christmas. You mean with eating goodies? Or? Yeah, the goodies and the, the the doubling up on the you know tripling up on the on the servings when when it's dinner time and all that stuff. I didn't do that this year. I I, I don't know if, if if I had the right mental predisposition to where I wasn't interested in doing that or what, but I just wasn't. I don't know. I wasn't interested in in no, I all just, that Christmas craziness when it comes to food. No, not and food. Goodies just, and just cookies chocolate. and all. Now, you know, I had some, but but I really, <laughs> I really toned it down this year. I get, and I need to. I'm I'm just going to continue yeah. with that. Yep, no uh, more goodies, unless it's a holiday. I'm looking at at least one more sol- shoulder surgery this year. We'll get some answers to that in a couple of months. Uh, at least one more surgery, and I just want to be. I mean that that. That is a whole saga in itself. I'm going to talk about this. I should, you know, I've, I've kind of laid my story out about my shoulder and, and powerlifting. I've laid that out there piece by piece. You, you have to listen over the last year through all of these podcast episodes to kind of get the whole story on that. But I should do one episode where I just talk about that. I just think your shoulder? Just my shoulder. Hmm. Just my shoulder and what that has done to me <laughs> and for me, how it has affected me, how has it affected the family. There's some comparisons to be made. What if I would have gone through all of this back home in the States oh instead gosh, of here? Oh, my gosh, yeah, well, yeah. You know, there's, there's, there's a story there. Yeah. 
there's a story there. I should, uh, hmm. I'm, I'm going to do that. That's going to be one of my first episodes, one of my first episodes after the new year. That goes on YouTube. Yeah, uh, tell them. You're going you're gonna to cut out Spotify for a well, while. Well, hold on now. You suggested, actually, my boy Aaron Turner. I suggested it first. but Shout out to Aaron. No. No, he suggested that as well is what I'm oh, saying. Okay. Yeah. And, and I'm on the fence. I'm a, See, the thing is, people, is I want you guys to, to listen to this. You know, listen to it wherever you can. It's great to be heard, and I thank you all for that. But uh, all you need to say is this. Hey, people, log on to YouTube. Click uh, subscribe. Click that little and and then go find John's uh, podcast. And how do they find my podcast? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you see. Wow! Thanks for the support, Snoop. Thanks for the support. What a great commercial you just made. Okay, uh, because I already have. What's the name of it, my podcast? Well, listen. What's the name of my podcast? Seriously, John Allen. What? <laughs> You know, <laughs> such is the love and support that I get from this no, woman. No, but you helped me do this. But a- <laughs> the Coming Home Podcast oh, with John Allen. Yeah, it's a long name. Yeah, so but that's I the think- name of the podcast. Yeah, 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 the Coming Home Podcast. Because that's there's other people named John Allen out there, and somebody had like Coming Home or Coming with a G, Coming Home, uh, Coming Home to Dinner or something like that. There's other podcasts and things that are similar. And I need mine to be mine. So it is called The Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. But you have to spell coming. Because C-O-M-I-N. No G. Coming. Yeah. The Coming Home it's Podcast slang. with John slang. Allen. It's who? Slang. Okay. We'll call it that. Mm-hmm. And and that's where you guys need to go on YouTube. And, and click it. that little bell. Click that little bell, as she says. And then you get a notice. And the what? And the what? There's another thing they click. The little thumbs up. The little who? Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and uh, you will get a notice. Every when, time I come with a new episode. Exactly. And that's all you have to say about it. That's all it. I have to say. And then you will not find him on Spotify next uh, next. Yeah, but see, don't say that because I haven't. The thing is, is I'm afraid to do well, that. Well, use chicken. See, Snoop and my buddy Aaron Turner, shout out to Aaron Turner, say that I should just cut off. Don't put this up on Spotify. Don't put this exactly. up on Google Podcasts. Don't this put it up on Apple will, Podcasts. This, this episode here will go on everything. Next she episode will not. She says just put up only on YouTube. I'm afraid to do that. Well, okay. Here. Don't you understand that I, why, why I would be afraid to do that? No, not really. If ah. people, No, listen. If people really like you, they'll find you. Okay. So, well, this is it then. This yeah. is my whole uh, persona on uh-huh. the line. Do you get my self confidence is on the line now? Do you exactly. guys like me? Yeah. You like me? You or like not? him or not? Well, we'll see how many goes on uh, YouTube. Well, Pretty what we'll simple. see is if I have the guts to not post it everywhere else and post it only on YouTube. Next That's a gutsy week. thing to do. I don't think so. <laughs> it's not your podcast, though. I know. It's my husband. Oh, wow. Who. Uh, mm. Look at her. She's all cheeks. <laughs> She's all cheekbones and booty, people. Mm. Cheekbones mm. and booty. That's all well, she is. Share for that with my little glug. Here. Mm. And my Mickey Mouse cup. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys say? Skol? Skol? Or skol? Skol. Uh, skol. Mm-hmm. Gotta say it right. Yep. The proper inflection, <clears throat> proper tonal inflection. How's my Norwegian snoop? You know what? Your Norwegian is perfect. I'm so proud of that. You should I really be. am. You should be. I think you guys have a beautiful language, especially the northern dialects. It's beautiful, so sing song and all the different nuances and so many dialects. I love being able to say that I can speak it. Yeah, and, and uh, all through the years I heard that Norwegian language is very difficult to learn, but you learn it in like no time. And well, I was having conversations after a couple impressive. of months. Very impressive. Very impressive. But I, I tell you, I re- well, thank you for that. But I really went in for it. I really had the right attitude. The, you know, the thing yeah. was, I needed to learn it as quickly as possible. And uh, and yeah. I was, I was, I remember, I was scared because everyone said and you it would be, be so difficult. Yeah. No, you should be scared. I mean, if you move to a, a new country, you know, it's your 
duty to learn that language so that you can is, make yourself I understood. Scared. I knew I would learn it, but I was scared because everyone was saying, oh, get ready, man. This is going to be hard. And it yeah, really because it wasn't is that hard. Not for you, but most people think it is hard. Yeah. But you're a smart man. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Speak into the microphone, you're please. You're a smart man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's the end of the year. This is the 99th episode. Uh, I'll do one more solo episode. Um, New Year's Eve while I'm working? uh, No, probably during earlier during the day. I don't want to be sitting around doing this in the evening. I'll I'll, I'll probably knock it out uh, during the day. And I also want people to be able to listen to it. Oh, yeah. So I'll knock it out early in the day so that it comes out in the morning, uh, East Coast USA time. On New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve day, you know, during the day. Oh, yeah. New Year's the 31st. Day. The 31st. 31st. I want people to be able to listen to it as early as possible on the 31st. Mm-hmm. So that'll be episode number 100. 100 episodes Ding. in less than nine months. That's not bad. That's it's pretty very, good. That's very pr- productive. Yeah. Hello, NPR radio. <laughs> Hello, NRK podcast. Mm-hmm. Hook a brother up. I could yeah. be a quote. I'll be a, you know what? I'll be a quota. Uh, uh, <laughs> a you quota know, immigrant in uh, in that corporate structure. I think you could do like um, different type of, of programs in a radio. How's that? What kind thing. of programs? You can do uh, like a music, like the old old fashioned DJ uh, thing, mm-hmm. and and, uh, and a music program, radio program. What kind thing. of music though? Any kind, because you know so much about the background to yeah. whatever song and and artists and this that and that. And this, that, and the other. I'd like so, to do a radio program, do it twice a week, at least twice mm-hmm. a week, and call it Black and White. Black and White. Yeah. Specifically, I would have one night of so-called urban music, you know, black music, soul, R&B. And I'm talking about old school, real soul and R&B. Mm-hmm. Not the stuff that they think is soul and R&B over here in Norway. I'm talking about the old school stuff. And then have another night with like classic rock Mm-hmm. Um, I want to do the program in English. You know, you just got done talking about my Norwegian skills. Um, I could do it in Norwegian, but I want my, I want to be myself. Yeah, I want to do it in English. Would say, and I think, think that is cool. I would hope that people would find that interesting and attractive. They would. And Amer- a black guy, an American mm-hmm. doing an American radio show in American English, but here in Norway. Yeah. But you could also... You could also be a sports comment on on American sports, you know, like <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm laughing. But yes, yes, I'm laughing because the, I've seen some of the. Yeah, I don't want to say. Don't know what they're talking about. Some of these guys, yeah, and they'll pull in uh, some so-called uh, expert, expert in American football to do the Super Bowl. Yeah, but he was Commented. born. He was born in the United States. Moved from there when he was three years old. Right. And now he's an expert. But that's their yeah. that's their American expert yeah. on yeah. the football for the Super Bowl mm-hmm. over here in Norway. It's kind of funny. Um, hey, but but thumbs up to the guy for 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 getting on there and doing it. I don't want to talk bad about anybody. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Good for him. Yep. So anyway, so that you could do. Um. Yeah. How about this? Politics uh, stuff. That's fun. Yeah, but you know what? I have my opinions, but I'm not a political pundit. I think you could be a politician. I think you so. You said that before. You said that yeah. You said that on the podcast once. Yeah. You said that. Yeah, and, and a diplomat, because you, you're you not like me. You just say it like it is. You don't. You, you're very um, smooth. No, I say it like it is. I'm yeah, not misleading Yeah, but you say it in anybody. a nice way. Ex- exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I don't. I know, but see, I think that's so important. You know, you can be, a lot of people think that, let, let's talk about this for a second. Oh, no, maybe not, because then I kind of really revealed myself No, no, much. no, no. We, we have this, <laughs> you're mean. Okay, let me just get it out of the way. She's mean, people. She's mean. <laughs> no, we have this environment where everybody says, hey, man, you know, I, I like Trump. He says it like, he tells it like it yeah, is. Well, hey, you know, don't be so politically correct. Well, you know, is, you should be. is, is being yeah. politically, you know, Politically correct. What does that mean? Yep. Does it mean not being an asshole? Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, why do you have to be so cruel, so mean and nasty? And anyone who is not that is considered politically correct. Mm-hmm. That's that atmosphere that we have. And I see it, sadly, 
becoming more prevalent here in Norway. There's a lot of Norwegians yep, yep. that are starting to think that way as well. Mm -hmm. and, and somehow, over the last four years, it has really been cemented as a legitimate uh, worldview that if you're politically correct, you're a chump, you're weak. Uh, um, yeah, so don't be politically correct. You know, uh, it, it's almost a license to be an ass, I think to be some, mean to people. Somewhere on the line... I think people lost um, the meaning of, of that whole concept because, yes, people are tired of politicians because yeah. they, 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 when you ask them a question, yep. they don't answer straight exactly. up. Yep. They answer some, yeah. I don't know, floating thing yeah. that is not really an answer. Mm -hmm. and, and people are tired of that. Yeah. And if they answer straight up, they put in a tiny little bit of lie there so yeah. it fits better for them. Yep. That's what people are tired of. They want uh, politicians who who says things like they yeah. are, but, that, yeah. but in a nice way. Exactly. That, guy, they, that guy is out there. That lady is out there. Um, but it's not Trump. Well, it's he definitely lies. not him. He, he tell, lies. Tell it like he, it is, but tell the truth. He's, yeah. he, he, he just And lies. he's nasty. Oh, gosh. Psychopath. Anyway, so that's um, so you could be a politician because you are nice and uh, and you uh, you say things the right way. You tell the truth, but you 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 uh, say it nicely in a, in a good way. I think you would ruin my chances of being a politician. Yeah, because they'd come to you for comments. Hey, what do you think about this that your husband said or did? And then yeah, and I'll just I'm not <laughs> nice like you. That's true. No, I. You've said that before about me being a politician. I just don't think I could do that. I don't. Uh, you know, I don't know how much do they make a year. What does a What does a uh, If you get into the parliament here in Norway, what do you make in a year? You it's a good amount that, of money, isn't it? No, not really. Come on, now, how much do they make? I don't know. They don't make a million, even I think. But well, really, ah. I think our prime minister maybe she makes. Uh, I don't know. Around a million, million five. I don't I'm know. I'm gonna look this up right now. You do that because I'm very curious. Talk to the people, Snoop. Tell them something. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking Tell about the around. about the um, pay because what they have, um, they have said that the the paychecks for the leaders of different businesses and stuff is is like crazy. But what's good thing for the politicians is that if they oh, wow. serve eight years mm -hmm. uh, in the government, Stortinga. Eh? Then they get a full retirement after eight years. And that is so unfair. I have to work for 40 years in order to get that. Okay, I found it. You found it, yeah. A store thing's representant, you know, a uh, yeah. parliament member. Mm -hmm. Store thing's representant, as, as it's called uh, in Norwegian. Okay. You know how, how much? much they make? How much do you think they make? Mm, probably between a little under a million maybe around a million 865,000 yep. kroners exactly. yep. that's let's just say $85,000 they make less than me if i work overtime <clears throat> a lot of overtime i thought you didn't want to talk about money you're putting your financial business out there oh yeah hypocrite <laughs> 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 um, well that just says how much i work eight, 865,000 <laughs> kroners which is roughly $85,000 but you know when you put in the cost of living and tax and this that and the other that's actually good money here that's pretty good money here in norway but it's not crazy if you put money. in the tax you know taxes tax differences and, and whatnot and what you get for your taxes and so on and so on i'm saying if you compare that to cost of living and life in the united states eight hundred sixty-five thousand kroners is good money but it's not crazy money like politicians in the United States, make. No. because in the United States, let's compare. I'm going to tell but you. I'm going to tell you something. Do you know what, though? Because I checked on this the other day, uh, <clears throat> what the leaders at the hospital make. Because um, I know there's some pos leader position coming up. And the director, I think it was, or the, the average leader in the hospital is 1.3 million. Yeah. They make more than the politicians that are actually running our country. That's kind of weird, in a way, isn't it? Yeah, I wasn't listening too much to what you said. Uh, well, <laughs> no. What I'm saying is, is, is politician pay in Norway, uh, eight hundred six. Yeah, and in 2009, for a for a congressman 
or woman, congressman, Congress repre- representatives mm-hmm. in the United States in 2009 was $174,000. So let's just say 1.8 million kroners. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. A politician in Norway makes good money, but not crazy money like mm-hmm. politicians in the United States make, yeah. if, if you see what I'm saying. Yeah. They make, uh, I, I will say, uh, politicians in Norway make um, upper middle class money here in Norway. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. Could I be a politician? Which party? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. It's not. Um, it's not anything I, I uh, aspire to do. I would need. <laughs> I would. No offense, but I would need more people than you, Snoop, telling me that I should be a politician for me to seriously consider it. Because mm-hmm. you're biased, is what I'm saying. You like me. <laughs> you know me, and you like me. Um, I would need more people to tell me that. You know, if another politician, for example. If some local politician who was high up on the on the you know mm-hmm. uh, were to say, "Hey, man, I think we could use you," you know, I'd listen. Yeah. I'd listen to somebody yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, we'll see. First, you have to become a citizen. <laughs> Not interested. Hmm. Well, I guess then. Let's forget about that idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say I'm not going to do it. I've said I've said I'm going to do it now. I'm not interested in doing it, but I've said I'm going to. Uh-huh. Just to have that, I don't know, option, option. Just to have that card in my deck, you know. To be a, you mean to be a citizen? To get Norwegian citizenship, yeah. and that does not mean that I would drop my American citizenship. No, but I see, can have both. Yeah. yeah. See, like the the times, uh, the way the times are now. If you were to have to go for whatever reason to the states, you would not be able to come back in without. Yeah, you wouldn't come back in. Not here. true. Yes, I could. I would have How? to quarantine first because I have residency here. I'm a resident. That doesn't keep me from being able to come back. Are you back. sure? 100% positive. Mm, not so sure. People in the American group here talk yeah. about that all the time. Okay. You have to. You still have to go into quarantine, but because you have residency, you're allowed to come back. Okay. But there's these crazy things like I, I was reading the other day, if you fly, if you're going to the States and you fly into Amsterdam mm-hmm. and then from Amsterdam into the States, uh, you have to have a COVID test before In you Amsterdam. get to Amsterdam within 72 hours. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. And then on the way back, you have to get a COVID test in America within 72, hour, 72 hours of coming back. How does that work with you being a resident of Norway? You're no longer a resident of the United States. You're still a citizen, but you're not a resident. And then you don't have any insurance in the United States. How does that work to get a COVID test? But That's I thought, what I was wondering about. I thought they did all that for free in the States now. Do they? I think so. It's, I think it is free to get tested in the States. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the same, well, at least uh, that Trump guy, he uh, claims that the, um, the um, uh, vaccine is going to be free too. I'm going to look that up. Cost of COVID test in the United States. Do you hear my phone clicking? Yeah. Okay. I guess they can hear that. that you know it's possible to turn off that sound, don't you? But you yeah, like but let's, let's you it's, it's, like it's part of the home. It's <laughs> What is this podcast called, Snoop? The Coming home. home Podcast with John. We're home. Oh. And at home, we hear our phones click as we type yeah. in. My feet are cold. Oh. Mm-hmm. Cost of COVID test in USA. Not ISA, USA. I don't know what it could cost. I want to know what it does cost. Okay, here's an article, medicalnewstoday.com. The diagnostic test for COVID-19 is free. I told you. See, I know I more didn't than say you. you were wrong. I just said I want to double check. I'm just Didn't used know. to things costing an arm and a leg. That's true. For, for, for these kind of things in the U.S. if you don't have. Yeah, it says here, anyone in the United States, regardless of immigration status, can get a diagnostic test for COVID-19 free of charge at a local health center, a community testing site or pharmacy. You, you used to work at a local health center. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> in the ghetto. <laughs> yes. You poor thing. You poor thing. People, oh. I, I, now my wife I is tried. strong. I She's tried. a strong willed woman, as you know, rather bullheaded. I call her the little donkey. She's so stubborn. She's very strong willed. 
And, you know, she's got a good head on her shoulders, but I felt so sorry for you when you first got into the work environment in the United States <laughs> when we lived there, when we were married. We first got married. Why? And she lived there because you didn't have a clue what was going on. Sure that. You had so much <laughs> trouble understanding what was said to you. <coughs> that's, that's because I... it was in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. The slang... Oh Whew. boy, you just didn't. Uh, ask. I'm gonna ask, ask him. You. What? Who are you gonna ask? Where is that ax? And, <laughs> and, and for the sensitive, for the sensitive <laughs> listeners, there's, there's no racism or prejudice <sighs> in this. It is just her being a foreigner. Used to me, you know. I, I don't know. I don't speak a lot of slang. I speak some slang, but I will say this. When I met her, I really had to clean up my English and speak more straightforward so that she could understand me. Mm -hmm. So that's what you got used to. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you get this job down the road a ways into this other part of the Chicago suburbs that is very, very, very South side. (laughs) And you were lost because of the way they spoke. I felt so sorry for you. Oh, my goodness. Well, that medical place was, uh, that was an interesting experience. How so? Well, first of all, you know, they they, uh, said they were using the metric system because that's what uh, the medical people are supposed to use. Mm -hmm. So when, <clears throat> when the like for what for like like so many uh, how milligrams. How tall, tall are you, oh, yeah. and and okay. uh, how much yeah. they weigh, and all that. Now keep in mind, everybody. Snoop was a registered nurse here in Norway, mm-hmm. but going back to the states, you were working as a nothing. <laughs> oh, you started no this job that you yeah, had. what was what it? What was the title there? I don't know, medical the medical center. assistant medical assistant okay. something like that. Yeah. I don't remember something yeah. like that. So the metric system now. Yeah. Anyway, so so. Uh, I was supposed to uh, call in the, the patient and, and uh, weigh them and measure them and uh, write it down. The weight is okay because, you know, it shows on the scale. Kilograms, yeah. Yeah, but then the doctors didn't want kilograms. They wanted pounds. Well, then why, why did they say that you were supposed to use the metric? Who told because, you? Who no, told because you? that is what... Um, officially, uh, <sighs> United States, what I heard anyway. Uh, From who? Um, Somebody at this new job or what? No. Um, when I was trying to, when I was tr- um, checking into being a nurse in the United States. Okay. Uh, they said in the medical fields, they are, uh, they're using the metric system. United States is actually supposed to be uh, using the metric system, uh, but but in pra- practically they're not. What do you mean you supposed know? to? Who decided that? That's what I heard years ago. Okay, go on. So you heard this, and then you show up at this job, (laughs) and this is hilarious. I didn't know this. Go on. You show up at this job at this this ghetto, this ghetto, uh, and the scale is fine because that shows pounds. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's back up. What you? It's very simple. Yeah, go ahead. Listen, listen. Apparently not. And then I have to then I have to measure them with a measuring tape, a tape measuring thing, Uh right? And I have to write down. Uh, feet, and so on, and doesn't show. It didn't show feet on that thing that they had there. It just showed I, inches. See, see, but I can't. I find that so hard to believe. No, it wasn't. If I was looking for that, show, no, I was. Oh, I was wait, 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 okay. measuring said, a child. You said okay? it showed inches, right? Oh, that's hilarious. And go I was on, measuring. Go on, go on. <laughs> I was measuring no, I these you. children that came yeah. in, you know, and it just showed inches. It did not show the feet, but it said I had to write the feet. Okay, so how many inches are in a foot? I have no clue. Still? You still don't know? <laughs> are you serious? No. It's, oh, my gosh. It's you poor 30, thing. 33 centimeters. Th- so did you write, did you write 33 centimeters? Did you write centimeters? What did no, you do? I, did, I didn't write anything. So like, you I never? I left it blank. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be a patient who was like a three-year-old child, weighed, I don't know, uh, 50 pounds, and was like 12 feet tall by your calculations or what? <laughs> <laughs> you just left it blank. I just left it blank. I didn't know what to write. Oh, see, you oh. had me thinking that you were writing this stuff in set, in, you know, in the metric system, no. centimeters and kilograms. No, they asked. They asked for they. Yeah, I, I did at the first, but they said no, no, no. We needed feet and inches. How many feet and how inches is this? How tall are they? I have no clue. 
Yeah, but why would you write kilograms for their weight? Because would. some article, I don't know who told no, you. Who told you that in America? It says on the form, centimeters form? and so. The, the, on the, on the yeah, form at the office that yeah, you were filling yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But then the doctors wanted it in feet and inches. So, <laughs> does, does, so when they stand on the scale, why don't you just? I told you the scale was okay because it showed. What kind both? of scale was it? It's a regular scale with both no. kilograms no, and... No, 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 no. Uh, digital. <clears throat> was it the kind with the thing that tipped oh, the needle. seesaw thing? That with tips? a needle. Huh? I think it was a needle that shows on the... On the... I don't okay. think it was a tip thing. And it probably showed remember. both. Yeah, yeah it probably, it probably showed, showed both. both. Yeah. But you chose to write kilograms. No, not on that. You wrote pounds. Right. But okay. I'm talking about the measurement. So when it came thing. to measure their, their height and mm. stuff... That was a problem. But you had a tape measure. All you had to do, you know, all you had to do is ask somebody, you know, take your pride out of it and just ask somebody, hey, how many inches are in a foot? Yeah, but then I Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you just ask somebody? Because <laughs> see, then that would have been one person who thought you were weird. Look at this weird uh, woman. She doesn't know how many feet are in an inch. That no, would be but, one person. No, but now you expose yourself to everybody because you don't write anything there. No, because, you know, I could think the opposite. <laughs> Look at these weird doctors. They want me to write feet when it says here centimeters. Okay, so okay, so take me through this. So they say we want this in feet and inches. How much is well, you had written nothing down. You had, you just didn't At first I wrote centimeters. Yeah, but how would you know how many centimeters are they, they are? You said because you measured the them in measure, and inches. The, the, yeah, the tape measure shows centimeters okay. and inches, yeah. but it doesn't yeah. show feet. And you never Tried to figure out how no, many inches are in a no. foot? Then I would have to calculate. Okay, so then what happened? <laughs> when the do, when the, do, the doctors ask you and the nurses ask you for this and you say you don't know, how did they, how did they take no, that? No, did, they didn't. How did they take that? I, I, I figured they, they figured it out themselves. They didn't say anything. They you just, just said you don't know. No, I didn't say anything. I just left it there. Wow. I just left it. They're probably thinking this backwoods, yeah, European well, mountain girl. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what happened there. Middle of the summer, blasting heat, no air conditioning, uh, and the waiting area was packed with people. I wonder how many people. people died in that waiting area. It was packed yeah. with people, and you know what? Yeah. Um, the doctor had their lunch break, uh, and I think it was usually one hour, a lunch break for for these doctors. Uh, I don't remember the times now, but maybe it was a lunch break till one from 12 till 1. Right? Didn't you tell me they used to... One o'clock, yeah. uh, you know, the patients were sitting there and it was filling up, filling up, filling up. And um, lower, lower the microphone if and you then, want. And then by, uh, by two o'clock, the doctor was still sitting there eating. Yeah. While and people I went are sitting back in there, the waiting yeah. room sweating to death, probably yeah. <laughs> on their, I know. knocking on death's door. Some I of know. them were very sick people. I know. And then I went in there to the doctor and said, hey... Um, your patient is here. He's been waiting for half an well, hour. He's, and I said this like three times, and they say, yeah, 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 yeah I'll come. Well, and there you go. That it's is terrible. That right there is a testimony of how there is so much, I mean, it's it's drastic, the, the different levels of health care people can get depending on where they live. Yeah. There is so much inequality in the health system. I mean, you saw it. Mm-hmm. That was your first work experience mm-hmm. when you came uh, Terrible! I quit. Yeah, you did. You didn't last long there, did you? No, I. I said I can't do this How, because that was so rude. Those doctors were so rude mm-hmm. to them patients, and and. Um, this was a predominantly uh, black. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I didn't see a single yeah. white patient, and, but and the, that the was the level of care, white. and that is the level of care that those people could expect in that area, and it, that's that's just, it's pathetic the way it was. Yeah, that was just. Not very good. So how did you tell them you wanted to quit? How did, what, how did that conversation go? You didn't just disappear. You had a conversation. Yeah, there was, it, you know, like the leading nurse or whatever. Yeah. So I you know, said, I, how, I'm, uh, uh, I, I need to uh, quit this job. And um, how do I do that? And uh, she said, yeah, well, then you just walk sign the these papers and, <laughs> and you're done. Yeah. And yeah you, you, guys can, you, you guys can quit you on quit, the day. You quit on the spot, didn't you? I think we'll, I had we'll to. Take that back I think maybe I had to. Um, I don't remember work. Maybe a Twi- few twist days it so or it goes something. Back to you. There you go. Few days or something. I'm not sure, but I could quit pretty much right away. Yeah. 
That was uh, that was strange. I felt so sorry for you. Yeah, you should have. I did. Yeah, good. And then, so and then after when that, I got lost in Chicago. Oh God! So, but but after yeah. that, when you quit mm-hmm. that job, you sat around and ate bonbons for a while. No, I didn't. And yes, you did. You didn't work for quite a while after that. No. You didn't have to. I took care of you, Snoop. I, took I care found of you. a job right away. I took care of you. No, I found a job right away. Which was? Selling funerals. That was hilarious. That was, uh, I was that amazed. People, people, let me tell you, that could be a sitcom. That could be a that could be a fourteen episode sitcom. It was hilarious, and I'm not trying to make light of people's deaths. What I'm making light of is the way Snoop handled people's <laughs> people's deaths. This 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 immigrant woman, you had a decent grasp of your spoken English, but again, there's that issue of listening of your of your understanding of English that is spoken to you. You were very shaky. Mm -hmm. And then here you go once again in an even more ghetto. Uh, uh, If you were in a black neighborhood before, now you're in a blackity black neighborhood in the middle of Chicago quite often because you traveled a little bit. I had to, I had uh, to drive to the different cemeteries and, um, and they were like all over South Chicago. And, Everybody then, knows South Chicago. There are places that are just not fit for for Snoop. <laughs> you didn't fit there. We didn't have GPS back then. Yeah, it was a good old... Uh, I had a map. Yeah, yeah. I even had a map book, and I didn't like that because that would stop at, at the end of the page there, and then I had yeah, to remember that. You find to the next page yeah. that fits. For, remember? For this, to view this mm. area, turn to page 174. Mm. <laughs> You're like on page 40. I turned over page 174. (laughs) I know. And try to do that while you're driving in Chicago traffic. (laughs) So that didn't work. So, of course, I got lost. That's just... um, And my goodness, I was driving down there. Down there after dark. I I was driving down there for hours. In all seriousness, not only did I feel sorry Mm. for you, I was worried about you. I was a cop. For goodness sakes, I knew what some of these areas were all about. And here you are driving in some of them and getting lost. And getting and, lost, and, and I just couldn't figure out where I was. So I rolled down uh, my window, asked the first person I could see, <laughs> excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you want, girl? What you want, girl? <laughs> and, and this person like, who, oh, you crazy? What are you doing here? You you need to close that window. You see the police car over there? Yeah, you must be at your mind. Yeah, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say, it, but but, and then there was. See that police car over there? You drive over there and they and escorted ask them, you out and of they the neighborhood. Es- escorted me out. True story. Mm-hmm. Wow. No, that yeah. was a sad. That was a sad. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> people try to. De- people will try to. They do try to deny that there are differences in levels of health care. That it is racially. Uh, motivated or de- or demotivated, as the case may be, uh, and it's true. You get into some of these. In- well, look at the work that Doctor uh, Doctor Howell Wexler does, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, uh, pointing out the inequality when it comes to both education and healthcare for children. And it's there's facts, there's numbers that back it up. And, and what what is sad is that a lot of Americans will try to deny that black and brown people are getting less care less quality in education. Um, they're more affected by COVID-19, for example. They're more affected by, by sickness in general. Um, uh, less educational opportunities. It, it's, this is true, and you saw it. You saw it yeah. yourself, yeah. <clears throat> but I think, um, I wonder if that also has to do with um, economy. Um, you know, if if there's the majority of uh, of black people have less money than the average white, which person. is true, um, because if you go here in Norway, also the immigrants uh, are uh, have well, less money yes, and, and less education. Of course, and it's le- all about generational and, wealth. Right, yeah, but the the bottom line is is that 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 gap that wealth gap is much more pronounced in america than it is here in norway yeah probably is and there's a longer history of that wealth gap mm-hmm. and there are concrete historical reasons for that wealth 
excuse me, for that wealth gap and for that disparity, uh, uh, discrepancy <clears throat> rather, when it comes to levels of health care and education. Oh. You got a cramp. Oh, my oh, goodness. My goodness. Ah. Oh, it's time to... Uh... This, I got a big old cramp in the bottom of my foot. Oops. Oh. Give it a hair. I'll give you a massage. Oh. See, now she's... She's got these ways about her. I, I, I compare you to a lioness. You can be so cruel, not cruel, you can be so forceful and aggressive with <laughs> yes, people cruel. with people outside the family that it, sometimes it, it shocks me. After 20 years, I get shocked about how mean <laughs> you can be to people, whether they deserve it or not, as the case may be. Uh, but at the same time, you have such... Um, you know what? You know what impresses me about you. I, it, Let me hear when a, it. When baby. a man, when a man can sit back and watch his wife be a mother, there's there's a, there's there's beauty in that. When I sit back and I watch how you mother our children, oh, there's there's do, yes do, yes do I do there's that? some beauty. Spoil them. There's some there's some no. When you spoil them, you just make me mad. <laughs> but when you're just good, you know you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And then you do things like this. I got a horrible cramp in my foot. Is it better though? And right away, yes, it is. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And right away, she took my smelly, crusty, ashy, ashy feet and uh, rubbed the cramp out of it. Yep. That's thank you, Snoop. Take care of mine. Those Me and mine. Fat little fingers. Yeah. No. I'm. I guess I. Uh, I'm very protective. If anyone so you're messes, protective. if anyone mess with me or my family, I, I kind of just cut them out. Or if Snoop perceives. You as messing with it may yeah. not be a fact that you are messing with us, but if she thinks you're messing with us, and then you're in trouble. The claws come out. Yeah, I'm glad you're on my side, Snoop. Yeah, you should be. You should be. New Year's there's, resolution. But it's kind of funny the, uh, at work. You know, some there's we have a lot of extra people that they, <laughs> they don't know me, <laughs> and a lot of new people they don't know me. They only see and that. They're uh, so scared. They're so scared just asking for a key, you know, in the morning. How do they do it? How do they ask? They just stand there in the hallway looking at me and and, uh, can't get in the door because, you know, all the doors are locked. That's hilarious. Somebody else let them into the premises, right? Right, right. And then I'm busy getting ready to the, for the yeah. report and all that, and I got the key to the holy cabinet. But you, and you they're know? afraid they even ask you. Yeah, and then I ask Does that hey, bother you? No, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the difference between you and other people. You think it's funny. Why is that funny? Because I make fun of them a little bit. Not make so, fun of them, but what I say to them, hey, you want a key? Um, yeah, that would be nice if, if you have the time. I said, of course I do. So you, just, you will perpetuate you just, that confusion, that anxiety. You'll yeah. make that last. Oh, yeah. Because I, you think it's funny. I, to me, it is fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why can't you see that they want a key and just say, hey, uh, you need a key, right? But you probably let it go. How long do you let that go before you? No, no, no. A couple of minutes. But but the thing is, no, I tell uh, them. I do tell them, though, afterwards. I said, you know what? If you don't remember my name, just that's okay. Just Say hey you, give me a key, and I'm fine with that. Because you're in charge, you're in charge of that shift at that time, so they have to go to you to yeah. get a key. Mm-hmm. But because they're new, or maybe they're just working extra, passing through, mm-hmm. they may not know who you are. Well, then they uh, they probably see me as busy and and a little strict. You get or whatever. this look on your face yeah, when you're yeah, busy. Yeah, and then but the she's got good skin. She's got <laughs> she's got smooth skin, but she gets this. It looks like two grand parallel Grand Canyons. These wrinkles that go right down the middle of her forehead uh, when she's when she gets focused and concentrated and and, and she she looks like a you know what you look like when you get that look on your face mm-hmm. you look, look look like one of those uh, voodoo masks or no not a voodoo what do you call that um, one of oh, those gee, faces that are carved you. on a totem pole somewhere with the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. well those are kind of cool. Well, they're kind of scary looking too. I mean, you yeah. wouldn't ask one of them totem poles for a key right away, would you? <laughs> I guess not. You get this look um, on your face like... Yeah. But people who know me, they just laugh. And they laugh at the other people who are a little scared. And they tell them, hey, don't worry about it. She's okay. You know, we so, watched that yeah. uh, that Flip or Flop series with oh, Tariq, yeah. Tariq. And I cannot remember what her Christina. name is. And 
they they work together. I couldn't. I don't think I could work with you. No, I can work with that. you either. Why not? Because you don't. You. I don't walk around like a totem pole, it's, it's scaring people. No, but you don't listen to me. Why should I? If you're wrong, I am the boss. Of well, yeah. If I'm the boss, you need to do what I say, and you don't. So I can work with you, John. <laughs> you know that. <sighs> I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to let that go. Yep. Good. I'm just going to let. So, New Year's resolution. Do you have one? The same as always. Which is? Eat healthy, train more. Mm hmm. Had it for the last, what, 48 years or so? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, that's it. Mind right, body tight. Mm hmm. I think there's a connection. Maybe. I think there's a, collect, a, a connection there. So, listen, after this episode, when I do a solo episode uh, tomorrow, the next day, what's the date today? 29th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I, I'll do this solo episode either tomorrow or the next day. Which, what do you think I should talk about? What would you like to hear? I guess that's a bad question because you don't listen to my episodes. Shh. <laughs> she, she doesn't. I'm just going to out her like that. She has no, I say, oh my gosh, I spoke to so-and-so and he said this, or she said this, that, and the other. Did you hear it? Crickets. Crickets. Mm -hmm. Like there is now. Crickets. She doesn't listen to my podcast, people. Wow. I'm trying to get more people to my YouTube channel, the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. That's mm -hmm. the name of my YouTube channel. I, I clicked like, on the bell. And they're like, I clicked they're, on the thumbs okay, up. Okay, because I was going to ask you, did you do that? Mm -hmm. Did you subscribe? Yeah. Because I can't ask strangers to subscribe if I can't even get my wife to do it. I subscribed. <laughs> Are you lying? <laughs> Listen to her. She's lying to me. No, <laughs> I'm not lying. It's just that my YouTube app on my phone is all the way in the back, like on the page oh, four or on. something. So that's <laughs> <laughs> so the notifications. I don't see them unless I slide Are over you there that and I lazy? and I forget about it. So I think that's I like have two hundred some notification or something there. Are or you probably that lazy? Ninety nine. <laughs> because you have to swipe a couple three times to get to your YouTube app on your phone. Yeah, because I don't really use these apps. You know that. You know, you are good about not being swallowed up by social media. Yeah, I I, I cut out all my social media. It's uh, it's just too much. I got uh, to start reading a little more. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah. now I, I read my... Uh... Have you read my blog post? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are you crazy? I don't See, read on the screen. Good. I read on paper. Good old-fashioned <sighs> paper. Well, print it out. Print out my last blog post. Print it out. No, no, no. It has to be in a book or a, on a... Or a a comic book or For something. For those of you who care, this high cheekbone, big bootied woman sitting across from me doesn't. But if you care, go on my website, johnallenpod.com, J-O-H-N-A-L-A-N-P-O-D.com, and it says the blog. Click on my latest uh, blog post there. Yeah. Part two of that post will be coming shortly, just a day or two after New Year's. I'm going to write part two about it. Um, check it out. And then we can talk about what Snoopy is missing because she doesn't listen or doesn't read what I've written. No, but I listen to you all the other hours of the day. Right? You do. Yeah. So You do. Communication yeah. is important. Yep. We have yep. it. Yep. In, li in live. No, what you frustrate you the living daylights out of me, but we have yeah. good communication. That's all right. You drive me nuts with numbers. So we sit down and we try to do some banking stuff and make some decisions there. It drives me nuts. What yeah, couple out there What couple out there can be on a computer screen at the same time and allow just one of you to, to, to have the mouse and do the clicking? <laughs> Does that ever go without frustration and <laughs> arguments? Because it doesn't with us. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then you touch the screen and it's a touch screen thing. Yeah, because you take too long with the click-in. No, 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 so no. And then you touch the screen when you're not supposed to. That's not true. I, every yes, time I touched no, it, I went no. right to where I wanted to go. Yeah, where you wanted, but not where I wanted. Well, uh, I'm bigger than you. Mm -hmm. My computer. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, anyway. 
How long I have think, we been uh, talking? I think uh, I think I need to go. My feet How long are have we been talking? I don't know. It's too right long. There over there. It's too long. It's probably read, getting boring. Read those numbers. Oh, 30. What does it say? 56. Oh, oh gosh. Wow. It's almost, almost an hour. Almost an hour. Well, okay. I want to thank everybody for listening. We, um, I, I don't know. What can I say? Much love. Never did I believe I would have 100 episodes. This is number 99. I'll do one more. I'll have 100 episodes. Episodes. I didn't plan that. I never thought I would do this many episodes. I'm so glad I did. Um, you know, only a handful of these are solo episodes. So um, it's almost been 99 great conversations that I've had. Uh, almost, It'll be almost 100 great conversations that I've had uh, these last nine months. And for me, conversation means learning. I learn something every time I talk to these people. Um, what including I, me what and what did I learn what should I have learned from talking with you today <laughs> that you need to listen to me more <laughs> okay new year's resolution I will listen to Snoopy more there you go but, but again I'll, there's one more episode coming after this one so please check it out go on my YouTube click the thumbs up when you see these episodes click the little bell subscribe 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 uh, what's the name of the podcast so they can find it on YouTube Snoop are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm just messing Are you, No, you're not. Okay, prove it. Tell, tell people the name of my podcast. It's the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. I want you to say that in English now. <laughs> <laughs> the heck was that mumbo jumbo that just came out of your mouth? That's because I was laughing. I want people to understand. <laughs> Where they're supposed to go to find me. So you okay. need to say it clearly. Pretend you're in the United States, okay? You're not, you've graduated from the oh. ghetto cl health clinic. Okay. You've graduated from, from, from botching funerals for, for black citizens. Now you have a job doing a commercial for my podcast. This is your job now. What will you tell them? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Talk. Go on YouTube and and uh, do a search on the Common Home Podcast with John Allen. Okay, I'm just going to stop you right now. <laughs> the <laughs> Common Home? It's not the Common Home as, the, as opposed to the Uncommon Home. <laughs> the Common Home. <laughs> the Common Home. <laughs> I'm sorry. People, well, this is how let's... I speak to her every day. Okay. Go ahead. One more time. I'm not no, going to say no. it. No, do it. Go no, ahead. No, please. No. Nope. It'll be great. That can, I can clip it out. I can clip it out. It would be a great promo. Go ahead. Tell oh, people how to find you me. You clip it out yeah, for go what? Ahead. To use it for promos or for other episodes. They come at home. Okay. Wait. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. No fool. <laughs> No fooling around. Deep breath. Get this out. I want you to say, tell people, I want you to make a commercial now. How, what do people need to do to find, okay. where do they find? Go, go ahead, in go on YouTube. Do a search on the Common Home Podcast with John Allen. Click subscribe. Click thumbs up. And a little bell. And you will get a notification every time John has a new podcast. But Remember this, put your little app on the first page of your phone so that you will see it and you don't have to scroll several pages back. Okay, there's Snoopy. A little too much glug. Yeah, yeah, the glugging is good. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> a little too much glug today? Maybe, Are you maybe. sure there's no alcohol I'm in that? I'm not sure anymore. It was a little sure rough anymore. for you to get that out. That was a little rough. Okay, anyway, right. go to my YouTube, <laughs> the Coming On Podcast with John Allen. Click the subscribe button, click the little bell, click the thumbs up on the episodes that you listen to. Uh, go on my website, johnallenpod.com, J-O-H-N-A-L-A-N-P-O-D.com. That is my website. Go there. Check me out. Uh, check out the Loyal Oak artists. I have Tiffany Troutman. I have Lauren White. Uh, I have myself. Uh, Loyal Oak artists. Check it out. See what we do. Check out my blog. A couple of good entries in there. Read what this brother has written. Uh, stay informed, subscribe, stay informed, subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you for these 99 episodes. I got one more for you. And then the new year is here. Uh, let's uh, make good things happen. Thank you all so much. Bye everybody. You can, you can hit the button now, Snoop. We're done. Wake up.
You see how little, you know what? <laughs> Stretch, Snoopy. Stretch, Snoopy. Bye, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.